from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for March 9th, 2016. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the GBP USD Great British Pound versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days in the morning analysis videos and in the live trade room. First off, starting here on the EUR USD Euro versus the US dollar. This was yesterday's trade analysis uh, during the morning analysis video, looking for sales on rallies into resistance. I think we justified pretty well the reasoning behind the resistance levels that we were looking at and the potential entry levels that we were looking at. The 200 period, actually 200 period moving average, uh, coming into play right around the 1.1045 level. We had some Fibonacci in that same zone. We had this rising green trend line in that same zone. We had historical resistance where the blue circle is, all in that same area, into the 1.1045 or so level. So, as you can see down here at the very bottom of the chart, we have a trade going at the 1.1045 level. It is a sell, a short from that blue shaded area. Currently sitting about 65 or so pips of profit on the trade. Uh, we've seen a little bit more uh, as the market pushed back down into the support zone. The trade has been moved actually better than break even. I have moved the stop loss now to lock in 20 pips. So it's a winning trade all the way uh, around. We've locked in 20 pips even if the market turns around suddenly and goes back up. It's very likely we'll get uh, taken out with profit on the trade. There's been some opportunity also to close some of the profit into the first target support zone. Let's zoom in in a couple of times here on the daily. You can see there's the blue shaded area and our entry, of course, is up here towards the top of the blue shaded area. And you can see it's already pushed all the way down from that uh, 1045 level all the way down here, seeing uh, about 90 or so pips of profit as it touched into the orange shaded area down here. Of course, that orange zone down there is your current support. And then for us to see further profit on the trade, it will need to break down through that orange zone. Uh, likely through the 109.30 level if we're going to see some more profit. It is possible we see this take a turn higher again, so definitely want to protect profit. But my stop loss is locked in with 20 pips on the trade suggestion from yesterday's uh, trade analysis video. Let's move on over to the USD JPY. We're looking at the four hour time frame. We've been studying this black box on the chart down at the bottom of the downtrend. The black box representing a period of ranging here for this currency pair. We saw the double tap down here into 111 level and ever since touching that 111 level we have found support into this green shaded area between uh, 111.95 and 112.40. That's just around or just above the 112 level. But anyway, that uh, green zone holding as our support and uh, yesterday, uh, no different. We see it holding as support again. Let's go ahead and zoom it in one more time here on the four hour time frame so you can really get a sense of this. Take a look. There's your green shaded area down there at the bottom of the chart. Uh, yesterday in the trade room, potential buy opportunity on any dips into the green zone. And you can see I'm in at one point or sorry, 112.32. Uh, the, the trade was placed down here at the bottom into the green zone and we have been taken into the trade currently sitting with 16 pips we've actually seen a little bit more enough to take the trade to break even so my current uh, trade is at break even uh, that's typical with the trade manager that I use here on the chart uh, to manage the trades for me it has taken me to break even when I see more than 20 pips of profit so we have seen more than 20 pips of profit on this trade and have been moved to break even if we get some bullish momentum out of this currency pair today it can start to get some upside uh, the target of course will be or at least the first target will be the orange shaded area all the way back up here at 113.20 of course that would be approaching the uh, 100 pips uh, of profit if it makes it all the way back up there to the orange zone so I think today we're still focused on buying the green zone targeting the orange shaded area as our main focus for the USN and the, that all changes likely if it presses under the green zone so that's the risk in the trade and of course uh, there's no risk if you're locked in at break even as I am so we have two positive trades here uh, for the week so I hope that uh, well so far uh, over the past couple of days so I hope that that has been uh, something that you have been able to take advantage of all right Let's move on over to the GBP, USD, Gray British Pound versus the US dollar. I'm going to take our trade window off here. 
Of course, long term, we've been in a downtrend. If I zoom out a little bit more, you can see the red trend line. We've been in a, a long term downtrend. Uh, probably more importantly, we're going to focus in on the most recent legs of the trend, the blue trend line that comes down here. You can see where it connects right here uh, at the uh, that top portion of the chart, the blue long term down blue trend line, connecting with these highs right in the middle of that blue trend line. That's important because that's where we are right now. We're seeing the market challenge that blue trend line as it comes down from the top of the chart. So connecting the last two resistance highs, we're challenging that now. Zoom it in one more time. You can see, follow it back in time. You can see this blue box back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Finding support at that green shaded area right around that uh, blue box over here on the left. So we know historical support helps us identify future potential resistance. We also see some support right here in the middle of the chart around that same mid 1.4200 level uh, into the green shaded area. Zoom it in one more time. I've taken a couple of different FIB ranges from the highest high down to the lowest low. And I actually went and this makes more sense when you look at it on the four hour time frame but I actually went from this high right here with the black X's to the low too so we have two fibs highest high to the low and that black X to the low drawn with Fibonacci tool interesting enough that puts a couple of Fibonacci retracement levels the 50% and the 786 fib right there at the top of the green zone so we have the green zone which we know is historical support and congestion we have the blue trend line coming down from the top and we now have some Fibonacci in that same area right around the mid 1.4200s the green zone is our resistance zone so as long as it stays underneath there today and over the next few days I'm looking for resistance you can see one two three and now the fourth day challenging this green zone as resistance so far unable to break above it that's the risk in the scenario is that it breaks above here and starts going back higher so as we're looking for new opportunities selling resistance becomes an opportunity you really don't want to buy it right now because there's too much resistance here there's obviously the past three days have held resistance and been unable to continue to pressure higher so buying right now just doesn't even seem like a logical scenario more likely you're looking to sell on rallies into this green zone as you've seen for the past three days targeting the pink shaded area will be your first target on back down here towards the mid to low uh, 141s even towards the uh, upper 14,000s is the bottom of the pink zone and of course if it can break through there we look for further evidence of push lower let's go ahead and take it down to the four hour time frame uh, just to get a little bit of a zoomed in view take a look at what's happened over the past few days the rally unable to break the fall we're trying to make our each inch our way up there again, but so far been very difficult getting back up into that green shaded area today. So we're definitely watching this as a clue to resistance here. If it can, if it can't break through that green zone, we're likely to take a tumble back down here towards the pink shaded area. And of course, like I said, through the pink zone, we look for it back down towards the 1.4,000 level. All of the risk here is that it breaks above the 142.70 or so level, the top of the green shaded area. So I have a pending sell set up right smack in the middle of our green shaded area, right around. And if I bring this up again, you can see uh, what the uh, sell order is right around the uh, 14240 level is what I'll be looking for 14240 is what we'll be looking for to get into this trade uh, and look for it to go lower from the green shaded area the risk of course is up around the uh, 143 level just into the top of the green shaded area so looking for sales on rallies into the green zone pending sell right now not a lot of active sell looking for it to go back down towards the pink zone or lower for the pound dollar today from forex traders daily this has been your daily analysis with ross mullins if you would like to get ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below